Florida. First of two games for you tonight. We start with Phoenix taking on the Atlanta Dream. Connecticut and Seattle all of last year off after giving birth to her son. There you see the starting lineup. Sophie Cunningham, second year player out of Missouri, making her third start of the season with uh, the veterans Trinity Carter and company. A lot of new faces for this Atlanta team. Really just uh, two starters are back from last year. And we are underway. Skylar Diggins-Smith with the ball in her hands gets things started. Diggins, who celebrated a birthday just a couple of days ago, gets it in to right away that Atlanta's in a man-to-man -man defense and hedging, showing with their bigs on screens for Phoenix. And a nice layoff to Elizabeth Williams, but she could not finish. Diggins trying to push some pace. But Kennedy Carter able to get a hand in there. Carter and Diggins-Smith, that's a good matchup. Outside shot to Rod. Laney coming up with the rebound. Quickly to Carter. Kennedy Carter. Look at that skill. And that's what she does. She Tarazi guarded by Laney, who was known more for her defensive presence previously in her career. For a number of reasons, obviously, um, which Sandy Brondello feels like she has with Sophie Cunningham. To get healthy, she is in the medical protocol because of a positive COVID test back on July 9th. Very unique, we hope unique season. Danny Carter give her a little bit of clear out on the help. And as Skylar Diggins recovers, she takes advantage of her with her speed. Sophie Cunningham guarded out on the perimeter by Shakina Strickland. Reiner, a little bit of space over Williams deliver. Coming in in terrific shape this year. That's Laney, who all of a sudden has become a huge offensive threat. She gets the nice spin. We have expressed that having the green light and the coach that's really just allowing them to play with a lot of freedom and confidence and, and how much that means to them. Laney in her fifth year out of Rutgers has bounced around a little bit was with Indiana last year. Digging so early is just their inconsistency on the defensive end, whether it be their pick and roll schemes or not running the floor. And the teams are averaging about 92 points per game against Atlanta this year. Carter, little pull up over <laughs> Diggins Smith. Little double team on Griner. Yeah. Cunningham and Living doing that at Missouri. A little bit short for Turner. Gives him another 14 seconds, and Diana Tarazi out with that letter to Commissioner Ingram Bird. And you know, their sentiment has been that Black Lives Matter is a human rights issue, and that they feel that Kelly Leffler has tried to politicize the death foot of one of Mercury players. Griner working against Strickland. Kennedy Carter, who has done most of the scoring tonight, now with an assist. Kennedy Carter's game so far is that she's playing with a lot of new players and seems to have at least a grasp on where they need the basketball and when and how to get it there. And she's in the top 10 of the league in assists, averaging four per game as Hartley is able to get her. Working her way into the lineup, one of the many new faces for Atlanta. Megan Smith with a nice path in the basket. Position defense. Laning, looks like she's going to shoot no matter what. Lost it again. Got it back. And redeemed herself. 30 points in a game against New York already this season. Has crushed every career high on her resume. She's worked really hard on that aspect of her game. Now it's just against Seattle. Forty seconds left to go in the first quarter. Blake Dietrich with the ball now. Got it over to Billings, but there was a lot of orange jerseys around. Good activity defensively by Phoenix. They've gotten a couple of runouts, just haven't been able to finish. 
credit Atlanta for rotating back and making it difficult. Courtney Williams looked like she was going to pull up and shoot, but instead, give her the nice. That is the captain's first bucket of the night. And now Phoenix can hold it for the final shot of the quarter. Williams gets it, but no time to shoot. And after one quarter of play with points against New York, 26 against Indy, and has not played over 30 minutes. Really impressive. Williams. Nice with the roll of the basket. That's Elizabeth Williams. You talked about naming Elizabeth Williams the captain of this team. You don't have Renee Montgomery. You don't have Tiffany Hayes. A lot of new pieces. Williams has stepped up in more ways than one. Nikki Collins having to deal with a lot of turnover on this squad this year. Hartley continues to be a little cold this evening. Now one of seven from the floor. How steady has Brianna Turner been? Shooting it well from the field, starting every game, rebounding, just consistent, doing the little things. Mm -hmm. Shooting the ball well, as you said. There's a nice no-look pass to Rossi to Griner, who looked to be a little bit of Kennedy Carter, take away some of that freedom that she has had, dribbling up to the three-point line, time to be decisive, hit her with a little pressure. Dietrich, nice feed to Billings. And once again. Great time by Atlanta to force a turnover from BG. Dietrich spots it up, hits it. Who have been able to do it and do more? Sue Bird and Diana Trossi. So they knew what they were talking about. These three ladies are some of the best in the league, 21 and under, to score 15 points or more per game in their first four. That is great company to be in. Hi, G Live. And Megan Rapino. So much entertainment, so much fun, a lot of history of the game. Assistant coach for Phoenix, but decided not to go into the bubble. She is back home in Phoenix with her son, Leo. And Diana Drazi, meanwhile, has only taken a couple of shots before she got that free throw as Laney finishes. Easy. Sophie Cunningham going to send it in. Diggin Smith stays with it and buries a full court play. The only good thing is there's no travel. Alana Smith with the miss. Everybody staying put in Bradenton. Here's Carter. Wow. Side of, of the restricted area and a little sooner because she is so quick and so fast. Kennedy now with eight points. Atlanta's lead is five. Smith was left on check. Eric Bruton throws it up. Picked up. That's to Tori Walker Kimbrough. Gets the basket. Walker Kimbrough, a contributor on the championship Washington Mystics team last year. Strickland gets inside. For her, just because she gets overplayed on the perimeter, and when Phoenix goes to that zone, the middle will be open as well. Laney, after the turnover, kicks it back to Strickland. We just talked about her as a three-point ninth year now in the league. Regan Smith puts her head down and puts it in the bucket. Williams working her way back into things. With Miss Griner able to go in the first half. Griner, nice to be 6'9 with passes like that. Phoenix is only shooting 34% from the floor. Diggin Smith, she has one go off the rim. Um, so that's a part of it. Atlanta has gotten a lot of easy opportunities, but you have players on the court like a Strickland, who's a proven shooter, like a Kennedy Carter that can put a lot of points up, and Courtney Williams, who last season, I mean, put everyone on notice. And those are the kind of shots that they, Brittany Griner, tries to shoot over 6'9". That's where you've got to be more disciplined. And she's often on the floor in the point guard spot, so has to make good decisions with the ball. Griner bottled up, kick out. Walker Kimbrough can't get it to fall. Courtney Williams finishes. Williams with career highs in scoring and field goal percentage last year with Connecticut. And now Phoenix can all but kill the rest of the time in this half. 
Phoenix really struggling, shooting just 33% from the floor in this game. Diana Tarazi 0 for 2 from the floor. Farm Halftime Report again. This is the first of two games coming your way tonight. Let's see what Phoenix can do. Skyler slices in and gets it off glass. Skyler has been the, the biggest bright spot. She's got 10 points. Courtney Williams, can she get a shot off? It is blocked. Courtney Williams with the 10 points, but as a team, Phoenix shot to help position because Atlanta has beat the first defender a lot so far tonight. Steal on the inbounds and boy, Skyler digging Smith get career. Skyler on the court was game one of the season. And Laney. Hit and well, when they got Benajah Laney, Nikki saw her hitting some shots in some of our drills in preseason and shooting until you don't make them. Well, she has continued to make them, so she's got the green light. She continues to have a lot of uh, confidence from her head coach, Nikki Collins. And certainly has delivered, getting that confidence boost from Coach Collin, who said, with the book on you is you can't shoot. And all of a sudden, she has become this offensive threat. And one of the reasons why Atlanta just looking so different from last year, Strickland hits season back surgery, not getting the medical exemption, which shocked most of us. Diggins Smith drew some contact, but good no, no foul. Call. You like good that? Good no call. Carter over her head. Rhea Hartley, we talked her up in pregame, and she only hit one shot in the first half, just one of seven. Turner counted. Man, she's had on the floor, but she's been quarantined for weeks. She's been in her room. She has not had reps with this team, so it's going to take her a little while to get comfy. Hartley, the off balance shot. Boy, and that was about as good as it felt like Blake Dietrich. Had a hand right there to contest. How about that? Hartley has had some easier looks and not buried him and got that one to fall. And on the other position. Now more W Washington. For more on these games, go to WNBA. With some of the coaching so far, when you look at what Washington has done, when you look at Minnesota and what they've done despite being really hit hard with injuries. Cheryl Reeve doing a nice job with her team. It's going to be a, this is going to be a season where coach of the year will be important. <laughs> Reiner. Behind Elizabeth Williams has that foul trouble. This is a smaller lineup on the floor right now for Atlanta. All right. Holly Rowe has uh, listening in to the uh, Phoenix Huddles. Holly. The China, I feel like you were. Johnson. And now Kennedy Carter, the rookie, brings it up. Diana Chirazi not on the floor. Looks like she's getting up from the scorer's table right now. Lori with the. Gets the lead to nine points. Atlanta led by two at the break. And one thing that Phoenix hasn't done well is, is shoot the three. And coming into this game, they were second in the WNBA in three-point field goal percentage, shooting it at 38. One for 15 is 7%. Pretty dismal. Tarazi, she gets the three. Has left to go in the third quarter. Laney just stepped right around Cunningham, but Smith did a good job to pick her up and then block the shot. Like Diana came down. To be aggressive at the rim, Pam, I mean, that has not changed. And now getting to the free throw line as well. Waning seconds of the quarter, Bree Hartley whips it to Cunningham. Sophie got a free path to the basket and Cunningham took advantage. Thank you so much. It's a tough defensive assignment for you tonight against Brittany Griner. How hard is it in there right now for you playing with these fouls? Yeah, it's tough. Um, I think my teammates are doing a really good job of doubling when they need to. Um, we're just going to continue to push the pace and try to... Warnock shirts coming in. He is indeed running as a Democrat for the Senate seat in 
Georgia. Diana Tarazi gets a bucket. She with the exception of Griner and Diggin Smith, the only players anywhere near 50% from the floor tonight for them. Oh, Griner got first trip to the line tonight. Elena Deladon missed them both, boy. As Phoenix is figuring everything else out. 14 seconds to shoot. Diana gives it up to Brittany, turn around, and there you go, Phoenix. For a schedule and, and new pieces, whatever adjustments you have to make, is that it's going to be a grind. As Kennedy Carter training as a kid and how her dad would have her out on the grass bouncing the basketball. You know how hard it is to do dribble dri drills on the grass, Pam Ward? It's hard for me to do it on hardwood. Very shy and quiet, but now has certainly found her voice. And that will be coming up on Sunday on ESPN. I've had a chance to see that piece. It's very well done. And it's a super show chance. But it's well worth your time. That's coming up uh, Sunday on E60. And coming up after this game, we will see Seattle taking on Connecticut in our nightcap. Bria Hartley finally gets one to fall. She nailed that shot. She had missed her first three three-point attempts. And Phoenix has the two-point advantage. Kennedy, fearless, but left it short. Courtney Williams couldn't follow. Good and job by Phoenix to corral that rebound. And this is where we're going to learn a lot about the leadership of the Atlanta Dream. Yes, Tarazi gets right. And they played pretty well to this point, but they're down four. Can they regroup, and how do they respond? Pam Ward and LaChina Robinson joining you, Holly Rowe. In the bubble, or do you prefer wobble? Chi. Bubble. Bubble with the beat. Yeah, you, I think you've heard my take on it. Wobble is one of Barney's friends. <laughs> We're not doing it. Not. Carter high off glass, got it over to Ron. Timeout. You put the ball in the hands of Kennedy Carter. You have to get a score from her, and she delivers. But how does she find this angle? I mean, Tarazi is coming at her, and Diana Tarazi has some length, enough hang time to get that off of the glass. And that just shows you, too, the confidence that Carter has, but certainly the confidence that Coach Collin has in her rookie. And that is a new career high for Kennedy. Tarazi, the free throw line. Looking forward to that one. Connecticut, remarkably, New York. When was coming into play today? Yeah, I mean, but Kurt Miller is showing the right temperament. You know he's competitive, but trying to be patient as they get players back. Uh, beyond January is expected to hit the court sometime this week. Won't be tonight. Kennedy Carter once again been fully healthy. And Luana Bonner has been impressive, though, and, and Alyssa Thomas as well. Even though she hasn't had the scoring and it's been as efficient as we know, her defense and rebounding and her passing has been outstanding. And just a terrific all-around player, Alyssa Thomas, and we will see P season in terms of, at least early, how she's rebounding the ball, how she's distributing her defense. Stewie's back. We'll see them at the top of the hour. Phoenix has parlayed that into, look at that, 23 points. Big, big difference in the points off turnovers tonight. Tarazi curling in over Dietrich, can't get it to fall, but a great rebound by Turner, who just stuck with it, and then Laney bumped into. It was contact. Yeah, it definitely was a fact. Tarazi coming on after a very subpar first in the house. A lot of really good basketball players played soccer. Diana Tarazi, I know Candace Parker played soccer. Help with your footwork. Floor because of her foul trouble. And they went to Brittany Griner enough to start to balance the floor when she was gone and start to see some consistency in offense. And here's Griner again, set screen. Tarazi hits it. And that is a huge basket to extend the lead to six and an answer on the other end from the rookie. I got some for you, Diana. <laughs> Kennedy Carter turned it up. Carter now with 24 points. That's the lead back to three. Inside, Griner got it, was able to turn in on Williams. 
hit it. Three-point play for Griner. An impressive fourth quarter. Coming up on two minutes to play. Laney off the rim. Tarazi with the... Tarazi kind of bumped into Griner a little bit, but then got it to her. Rolled out to Griner. Now we're inside two minutes to go. Johnson lowered her shoulder. They're going to call it a. Faces on this Atlanta Dream team. Atlanta's got to get a stop here. Phoenix is starting to feel it on the offensive end. Keep your eyes on Diana Tarazi. Laney on the denial right now. They're going to get Laney. Yes, I'd say she uh, had a better second half. Team trying to get themselves going. Something certainly gets clicked in for them here in this fourth quarter. Turned a six-point deficit into a seven-point advantage in this quarter. Oh, my goodness. Between the first and second half is the level of difficulty on Atlanta's shot. You know, I think Phoenix was really frustrated with their defense because Atlanta was getting everything so easy. They've had to work the second half. Real. Hartley gets them both. I think you might have heard, Coach. Tippy toe. Terrific night for her. Five games. Listen, we might not be in the bubble, but this is a this is stretching us too, Pam. We need some practice. Really? These back to backers are tough. Right, okay. <laughs> Fatigue. Uh, we got a minute left. Trazi with the ball in her hands against Laney, who has five personal fouls. Tarazi gets it to Griner. Just a little bit of space. Really nice move to get some space on the roster. And Kalani Brown is 6'7", recovering from her bout with COVID. Laney. Oh. Now in full court pressure, excuse me. Yep, in denial here. Matchups, both of them on the backside. With incredible career. Hall of Fame careers. Of course, we all hope that the Tokyo Olympics can go off Nick Oppenberg, who, who we spoke to uh, before we give her a little bit of rest right now because it's going to be crazy. Yeah, this, that is, tells you how every one of those were every other day games. It's just unbelievable what's uh, going to be asked in this fourth quarter. Tarazi split the double team and somehow was able to find goes on so you want to try to get a win against them now keep the momentum going from the last couple of games if you're the mercury because you've got a tough stretch coming up against the chicago team that pam is deep impressive they, get, they got colson back and, and still dolson's not healthy fun team to watch it's going to be a great season this year in the wnba seattle is, seems to be everybody's pick to the challenges of this unique season will have to be managed by players, by coaches, and that ultimately could decide who wins the WNBA championship. Yep. Certainly a season like no other. Diana Tarazi and the uh, Phoenix Mercury with a come from behind win over Atlanta as they go to three and two on the season. The dream fall to two and three.